Unfortunately, it's not a good start today. The weather is pretty wet. Nonetheless, as you know, I always wake up early. Not that great sunrise, but um, we'll see how it goes. Me and Kyle are gonna get coffee or breakfast or something, and uh, fingers crossed, it's gonna get better today. By the way, the guy stayed up so long last night. And I hope, I hope they uh, took some videos of them rap battling. It was quite hilarious. All right, breakfast is served. We got a long sanusa. Special tea for the couple. Yes, thank you. The couple. Yeah, we're a couple now. I didn't know. See you, Sherlyn. Too bad. Bye. Sorry, Sherlyn. Just you. for a little while. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Yes. Oh, hey there, doggy. Good morning, Mike. Hi. Nice Good rap day. last night. You hear the rapping? Mango, Mango rum, rum, Mango rum, Mango, Mango rum. rum. Mango rum. If you Mango the rum. It goes in your thumb. <laughs> I think he was gonna say another word. <laughs> Guys, this is gonna be a freaking epic day. We're loading onto the boat, going to the nature park of Halea. <laughs> Kyle is being weirdo. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but this is gonna be one heck of a trip because we've seen the pictures. This is the reason why we came to Tikao Island, it's for Halea Park. And we've also been told there might even be baby sharks on the shallow beaches. So, if that is true, Wow. Two hours all the way across to the other side of Tikau Island. We're in search of a giant, unique waterfall. Right now we're actually in Halea Nature Park where we're gonna cruise around it or through it to the waterfall that we've been searching for. It's about a two hour drive, but the scenery here is just absolutely stunning. The ride here in Halea Nature Park is so smooth and calm because it's kind of protected with its small islands. And in between there are some beautiful local communities, fishing communities, and even a tiny beach over there that at an elementary school on the sand. Danny boy get in the shot. Let's find that waterfall. Welcome to Tandiaka Waterfalls. It's so beautiful for many reasons. But the main one is that it goes literally into the ocean. <laughs> that, oh, that's so cool. 
a little bit here I noticed a couple of uh, plastic forks and spoon in the bottom but what's cool in this boat we have uh, wooden plates and just metal, using our hands metal, or metal uh, forks and knives so uh, we're gonna dip in try to pick up some trash before we leave all right we're just arriving to Halea Nature Park and we're see Halea and we're seeing some incredible currents here this area looks dodgy. You don't want to be swimming here. That's a lot of current. Look at that one. Wow. Unbelievable spot. We're gonna wait with the drone shots. I have to dip into this water. <laughs> There's also a massive freaking anchor in there. What? Check out the anchor. <laughs> this place is ridiculous. Look at this anchor. I'm gonna swim to the sharks if there are any. The water is crystal clear over here. And when we're researching what to do in Maspate, I told the boys we gotta go to Tikau. And then I showed them pictures, and this is it. I've never seen so many fishes in the Philippines. This is crazy.
This is one of the best marine biodiversity I've ever seen in the Philippines. This is incredible. Jellyfish. <laughs> so cool. How good is this? <laughs> oh my goodness. Apparently Louis saw a shark. I saw one earlier but it was really far away. Just the tail. Go away. I want to see the black tip sharks. Who would have thought? The marine biodiversity in this area. Woo! Wow. Leave nothing but food prints, take nothing but food